hi guys welcome back to my channel i hope you're having a great day today so as you can tell from the title of this video we are going to be doing a side by side test using the real technique sponge and the beauty blender beauty blender not that long ago posted a picture on their instagram where they cut a real technique sponge and a beauty blender sponge in half to try to show you that their sponge soaks up less product so since then i've been really eager to see if anyone else is gonna cut their sponges in half and see if what the beauty blender company says is actually true or not and because i didn't see anyone doing that i decided to do it myself so i purchased a real technique sponge which i never tried before and i took my old beauty blender which would have ended up in the bin anyways in a couple of days because I have a new one and I'm gonna do a side-by-side -side test on my face using the two sponges and after that we're gonna cut them in half and see how much product they really soak up and is it true what Beauty Blender says or was it just a marketing campaign? Without further ado, I'm gonna jump right into applying my foundation and my concealer and we see how we're gonna end up looking. Okay, so before we get into applying any foundation, I'm just gonna add some hangover primer. And this is the size of the Beauty Blender and the Real Technic sponge before adding any water. So as you can see, the Real Technic one is slightly longer but this side of it is chopped off. So now I'm gonna go and put them under the water for a second. I feel like the real technique one is definitely more dense to start with and I feel like even when they are damp it's still more dense. I don't know if you can see it takes longer to return to the original shape so it's not really bouncy and it also takes some effort to squeeze it whilst with the beauty blender it returns to the original shape straight away and it's it's quite easy to squeeze i feel like they grow in size just as much as each other they still look a very similar size. The Real Technique one is still slightly longer, but other than that, they are a very, very similar size. To be honest, the outside of the Real Technique one, I feel like it's quite bouncy. It's just that it has this hard core inside that's quite dense and hard to squeeze but I feel like it's not gonna affect the way it applies the foundation so I'm just gonna go on now and add the foundation on one side of the face then we're gonna nicely work that out and then we're gonna move on to the other side like I said the real technique sponge is a lot cheaper so that's gonna go on this side of the face and the beauty blender is gonna go on this side of the face. And I'm applying a mixture of two foundations, if you're interested. One of them is the Maybelline Superstay foundation, and the other one is gonna be the Wet and Wild Photo Focus. I do really like this foundation, but the shade is too light for me. So I just mix it in with the Maybelline one because the Maybelline one is too dark for me. So the mixture of the two shades is just perfect. So I'm using the side of the Real Technique sponge to blend this. It's definitely less bouncy. I actually feel like I'm hitting my face with it. So that's how we're looking so far. Now I'm gonna do the first layer of foundation on the Beauty Blender side. I 
obviously I only ever used beauty blender sponges prior to this video so I'm really used to the shape and the bounciness of this sponge and that's how much product that one has so far so now I'm gonna go back with a second layer of foundation on the Real Technique side so that's the second layer on now we're gonna go back with the second layer on the Beauty Bender side I actually feel like I have less coverage on the Beauty Blender side from one layer I think with two layers of foundation the two sides look exactly the same the only thing I noticed is that the Real Technique side looks slightly smoother but honestly I couldn't tell you if I had more texture here yesterday or not so it might not be the sponge it might be just my skin okay so moving on I'm gonna apply some concealer now and of course I'm gonna use the Too Faced Born This Way Sculpting Concealer first I'm gonna go in with the shade Nude and when I'm done with the Nude I'm gonna go in with the shade Snow and just brighten up the areas that need brightening And first I'm going to blend out the rear technique side. And then I'm going to blend out the beauty blender side. So now I'm going to take the shade snow and just add it to the areas that I want to brighten up which as you can see is a quite significant part of my face so again we're gonna start on the Real Techniques side and under the eyes I'm gonna use this flat side of it I feel bad about destroying this sponge now because it actually does a really really good job okay I'm gonna do the beauty blender side honestly they look just as good as each other I can literally see no difference. Okay, now I'm gonna go on and set my under eye using some Revolution Lace Setting Powder. And I'm gonna use again the sponges to do that. So first again, I'm gonna do the rear technique side. Okay, so that's the rear technique side set. Okay, so the two sides of the face are both set. Now I'm gonna go off camera, finish my makeup, and then we're gonna be back, and we are gonna cut these two little guys in half to see how much product they soaked up. All right, guys, so as you can see, my makeup is done. I honestly feel like the Real Technique side looks better i did feel like that from the beginning i just have less texture here my pores are almost completely gone this side has a lot of texture i don't think you can see that on the camera but you will just have to believe me other than that the rest of the face looks exactly the same so 
yeah, I think this Real Technique sponge is actually really, really good. If you guys are interested on my lips, I have the Clinique Pop lipstick in the shade Beige Pop. And on my eyes, I have Kat Von D Tattoo Liner and L'Oreal Lash Paradise Mascara. Anyways, back to the sponges. So yeah, I definitely think that the Real Technique sponge is amazing. And I agreed to destroying it for this time, but I'm definitely gonna go back to the store and get another one. So I still have these two sponges here to cut them in half and see really how much product they soaked up. This Beauty Blender sponge is quite old. I don't know if you guys can see that it has a lot of small pieces missing on the top so I'm not really that sorry about cutting this in half but my Beauty Blender sponge is brand new so I feel a bit bad about that but I will definitely go and get another one because it it looks really really good it did an amazing job so let's cut them in half I'm gonna start with the beauty blender sponge I don't think it soaked up too much I think that's quite all right and like obviously it's really clean on the inside like I said it's a brand new sponge so I wouldn't expect anything else I'm really interested to see the inside of my beauty blender because I've had this sponge for about six months now so I really want to see the inside and I also want to see how much product it soaked up because I'll be honest with you based on the outside a lot and I did feel from the beginning that this side didn't have as much coverage as the other side did. So the inside is completely clean. I think that is because I wash it every time right after using it. But I think it soaked up a lot of product. I guess the difference could be due to the different color in the sponge and like i said before the real technique sponge is much more dense so i don't think it would soak up that much product naturally especially here where i apply my foundation it soaked up a lot the top part I use to blend out my concealer. So I think it's so that a lot of the concealer as well. I'm actually really, really surprised about that. I actually think the Real Technique sponge might be better. It soaks up less product. You get a higher coverage and less texture. And it's a third of the price. I mean, what else could you possibly want? Alright guys, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you found it useful. If you did, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel because I would love to have you here and hit the ring button so you're not going to miss out any future uploads. I will see you next time. Bye.